Hi, I'm Jared Nelson from the Investing Channel, and welcome to The Juice. Europeans, anxiously waiting for that family trip to Disney World, have finally caught a break. Starting yesterday, the U.S. is relaxing travel restrictions for more than 30 countries after 19 months. And even though bookings are below pre-pandemic levels, airlines are ramping up to meet demand. New York, California, and Florida top the list of destinations currently being booked by Europeans. Delta said that in the six weeks since the reopening was announced, international bookings have increased 450%. Virgin Atlantic said U.S. flights today are 98% full. And Kayak said searches related to international travel jumped 50% on Saturday. So how did we get here? Well, starting under President Trump and expanding under President Biden, the U.S. limited inbound international travel from most of the world. That left travel and leisure centers like Orlando, Las Vegas, New York, and Chicago short of a major source of revenue. Retailers are especially giddy as global travelers accounted for 27% of tourism in 2019. Now, non-U.S. citizens will have to show proof of vaccination against COVID-19 prior to entering the U.S. That means a second dose needs to be administered at least two weeks prior to departure. Additionally, travelers will need a negative COVID test within three days of departure for all vaccinated travelers, including U.S. citizens, which has been in place since January. Non-vaccinated travelers, including U.S. citizens, will need a negative COVID test within one day from departure. Exceptions do exist for minors as well as countries with low vaccine availability. However, most will still need to be tested prior to departure. The bottom line is this. Travel and leisure jobs continue to drive down unemployment more than any other sector. International travel adds a big boost to this sector. We should expect many stocks in this sector to benefit in Q4. That's all we have time for today on The Juice. Click, follow, and subscribe to The Juice email for your daily dose of market minerals.